While the healthy people have many wishes, ill person only have one wish, to be healthy. Today, I'm starting this video as a part of a breast cancer awareness and research hosted by Teresa B. DIY and Mackenzie Lumbermill. If you haven't visited uh, Teresa's channel, please do so. Today, she's hosting a breast cancer research BCRF and the links will be in my description box along with the hosts and the playlist and the another host is Mackenzie Lumbermill Sandy and she's part of the Canadian Cancer Society research for um, breast cancer if anyone is interested the links will be in my description box along with our amazing playlist and everybody who's in it so let's just jump in for DIY number one I got this styrofoam teddy bear from Amazon and I got those pine cones purchased from Hobby Lobby on sale and we're gonna make this teddy bear nice and cute so what I'm doing now is just gluing those mini pine cones on this teddy bear with a hot gorilla hot glue as you can see super easy and it's gonna be cute while you guys watching me making all this I'm gonna talk about the breast cancer research that uh, Teresa is hosting that is a research that they are preventing to cure the breast cancer by advancing the world's most promising research we found the best researcher in the world committed to achieving prevention and cure funding 200 plus researchers to make a donation it's gonna be link in my description box and for sandy on the canadian side she's part of the canadian cancer society as canada largest national cancer charity the canadian cancer society funds cancer research offers cancer support services and shares and this link will be also in my description box as you can see my teddy bear is done i made a pink bow on the side with a pink ribbon uh, logo on top of uh, the bear and i think i did a pretty good job what do you think for diy number two i'm using a pink ribbon logo wreath and i'm gonna make a wreath of a breast cancer awareness i'm using this wreath and i'm using a shelf liner a gray color elephant color and i'm just gonna make a beautiful wreath this is so easy to make everybody can do it i just cut off the liners on half and now i got nine sections for this wreath. so what i'm doing is i'm gonna make a ruffles i'm going through that middle line in the middle and i'm just putting that liner inside of it just like that very simple I'm putting it under the wire and on both sides creating the ruffle by itself very easy I don't need to use anything else because that liner is sticky enough that it doesn't need any zip tie or anything for it so just watch what I'm doing you know me I did a couple of reads with shelf liners before and it's one of my favorite reads very simple very easy and super cute if anyone is interested for this wreath let me know I can send it to you as a gift so you can comment on my video if you're interested I can send you one but if it's more than one interested I'm gonna make to make a draw so as you can see I'm going to the empty spaces and I'm just using the liners creating the ruffles and I choose the middle one because the, those are the bigger section. As you can see, those sections are not even. So I'm going to the bigger section first, and then I'm gonna go to the smaller ones. For the bigger section, we're gonna need one piece of a shelf liner split on half from Dollar Tree. For the little ones, we're gonna need half of it, half of the half shelf liner. I hope it makes sense. But soon as you start working on wreath like this with the shelf liners, you're gonna see how easy it is. And it looks very high-end. It looks like you use some 
a very high-end ribbon in it. You can even notice that that's a shelf liner. And now the wreath is done. I'm just going through the ruffles just to make it nice and clean and here it is. Next I'm using this pink ribbon from Dollar Tree. I'm using the bow maker purchased from Amazon and I'm gonna make eight loops. Four loops on each side just like that. Super easy, simple. You saw me before making bows and just making a simple bow. Funky cute bow. Just rolling, make the loops on one side, then the other. When the bow is made, I'm adding a zip tie so we can make it sturdy. It won't separate, just like that. Before we tie it hard, we're gonna make those loops how we like it. That's it, now I'm opening up the loops and I'm gonna cut off the fishtails at the end of the ribbons and our bow is done to be tied on our beautiful reed that we made. I'm rolling the quarters. Now to cover the zip tie, I'm adding an extra piece from the ribbon and I'm tying it and with this, we're gonna tie the bow in our wreath, just like that. Very easy. Next, I'm using this pink uh, seashell color from Plate. And I'm painting those stickers purchased from Dollar Tree. I need three of them. Two for my ribbon and one for my bear. So I'm putting them on the corners of my bow. And that's it. Here is the final look for those two items. I really like how they turn out. I like the beautiful pink wreath with those stickers and the teddy bear with the ribbon and the logo. Teresa and Sandy, thank you for hosting Crafting for Cause and I'm happy that I'm part of it for this month, Breast Cancer Awareness. So please, my darlings, after you're done watching my video, follow the playlist on my description box along with the links of the donation links. Teresa, American and Canadian. Until next time, I'm sending you lots of love, lots of music, positive energy from me to you. Bye-bye.